Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on the new Bluestack 5 is currently in beta. Uh, my previous guide that uh, I was talking about like how to optimize and how you can run Android games or app on Bluestack 4. But now you have the Bluestack 5 and it's a <laughs> the performance of the, the new one is really good. It's taking 40% less RAM usage. Uh, everything is much like smoother, faster when you install an app or you're running a game. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the um, the future for BlueStack. Uh, it's currently in beta, but it's running smoothly. Um, they will for sure release more patches in the future, and they will release it like uh, for a real release. So really important, always make your update. So when they push update, just do it. It will help you a lot because sometimes you can have like some random bugs or crash uh, with this one. So you just click here to download it. Don't download the BlueStack 4 if you want the new one. And after that, you will have two icon. First of all, I want to mention you can't run this new blue stack in 64 bit. So if you want a new instance and you say fresh instance, for example, I'm saying I want II landscape create, it's automatically automatically sorry goes to uh, 32 bits. So you can't really do the uh, 64 right now. I'm pretty sure they're gonna release it in the future. So yeah, that's about it. So now let's launch the application. I will show you how to optimize and make sure that you uh, maximize your amount of FPS and the performance of the software. So everything is loaded. So right now you're seeing I'm have a couple of game. Make sure that you set up your Play Store properly with your Google account. So you, to make sure that you download like uh, your games and after that you have the, your save game coming from your phone. You don't want to... Uh, like start brand new game on your whatever Wild Rift, Call of Duty Mobile or whatever. And go to settings. So first of all, for the performance, the CPU allocation, you have two preset. Um, and it really depends on your computer. If you have like a four cores and eight threads, like an old CPU, don't go too crazy. You need to let um, uh, your windows to have like the dedicated cores. So go with something with two cores. If you have like a six core or more, you can definitely go with four cores. And for the me memory allocation, uh, the maximum of it is four gig. You can add any um, custom right now. It doesn't work. So you can go uh, further than, than the four gig. But if you have like a nice CPU, like a, I don't know, eight cores, 16 thread or 12 cores, you can definitely go to custom and add more core. The maximum right now is eight core. So. Right now, we're going to stay at 4. I really recommend to enable the high frame rate here. Just check it. And make sure that your frame rate is set to 120. This is a standard that it's coming on mobile phone. You will see a lot of game now supporting it. The new League of Legends Wild Rift is running at 120. You got like a shooter like Free Fire. You can do like 90. So make sure that you unlock it. You just don't want to lock it at 60. And after that, the last one is the uh, display FPS during gameplay. Just check this one because you want to monitor uh, how many FPS that you have. After that, for the display, you have a couple of options. If you uh, add more, for sure, you're going to lose performance. I feel like right now uh, it's a better version. Go with the 900p and the uh, 240 dpi. This is like the best way to have like the maximum performance on your um, emulator. After that, for graphic, go with performance, go with OpenGL. If you have an AMD card, definitely do a test with DirectX. AMD doesn't run well on OpenGL, so maybe you should you will have better performance with DirectX X. So really important to test that. Make sure this one is checked and you have the proper GPU. So for an example, if you're uh, on a laptop and you have like an integrated GPU and a NVIDIA GPU, you should see your NVIDIA here. So don't use your integrate GPU for your uh, emulator. After that, device setting. Uh, this one, you have a couple of profile that you can change. By uh, default, they're using the S8 Plus. So that's a bit weird. Go with the Rogue One, Asus Rogue 2, sorry. And um, this this is the best profile that, you, profile that you can use because the Rogue 2 is uh, compatible with a lot of game for high refresh rate. So you're going to make sure that when you're playing Free Fire, you're getting 90. Uh, if you're using a Samsung profile, profile, you will be locked at 60 FPS. So this is pretty much the best profile to make sure that you always have the maximum FPS when you're playing a game. Through that, just press save. 
So that's about it. After that, you just download your game in the Play Store. So we can definitely, I uh, can show you Free Fire. Free Fire is running really well, honestly. I was uh, had a couple of issues with the, bl uh, the blue stack and um, my frame rate was not great. But on blue stack 5, it's really great. I'm getting my 90 easily uh, without any drops. So let's press here, tap to begin. So I will show you a couple of pop-up here. And my 90 FPS constant, even when I play the game, I don't have any issue with it. Uh, after that, you can definitely press F11 to make sure that you're full screen. I don't think my capture card doesn't capture it. Anyway, uh, so yeah. So after that, it's pretty much uh, your game is ready. You press to start and it will run perfectly. I saw a big improvement, honestly, if I compare it with the Blue Stack 4. Um, like just for the ram it's crazy the blue stack 4 was taking a, a big amount of ram on my computer and the blue stack 5 everything is snappier it's it feels lighter also and uh, it will help you a lot if you're running an emulator on your, the laptop or on an old computer uh, it's it will be great this is pretty much the future of emulator for android so that's about it guys if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section any question about your rig and the emulator post me like your cpu gpu ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace